Praise the Lord. Brethren, I welcome you to another edition of Strategic Prayer Encounter, the prayer program of the Men's Prayer Network. Today, we shall be looking into the subject of reversing satanic verdicts. Reversing satanic verdicts. May the Lord give us insight in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, as we examine this subject of reversing satanic verdict, there are three fundamental facts we must know and establish. The first fact is that the spirit world operates court system. I repeat, the spirit world operates court system. That is, as in the physical, the spirit world operates by passing verdicts. That is, verdicts are first passed for or against men from the realm of the spirit before their manifestation in the physical, positively or negatively. See this in 1 Kings chapter 3, 7 to 13. You will see that when Solomon went before God, when the Lord asked Solomon, he said, Solomon, ask me whatever you want me to do for you. Solomon asked God for wisdom. The Bible said that request pleased God because God saw it as an unselfish request. And God said, okay, Solomon, wisdom is granted to you abundantly. He said, in addition, because you have asked this thing, that I give you even that which you did not ask for, I give you abundant wealth. I give you abundant wealth. And so, in the physical, that which was pronounced in favor of Solomon from the realm of the spirit manifested in the realm of the physical. So please note, they did a pass for or against men from the realm of the spirit before their manifestation in the realm of the physical. You will see also the dethronement, the demotion, and the humiliation of Nebuchadnezzar was passed against him from the realm of the spirit in the midst of his pride and arrogance. The God of heaven and earth passed a verdict of dethronement, demotion, and humiliation upon Nebuchadnezzar. You know, as, the, as Nebuchadnezzar exalted himself before God, in Daniel chapter 4, verse 31, I read, the Bible says, While the word was in the, in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. Hmm. While he was yet exalting himself, while he was yet giving glory to himself, the Bible said there was a voice that came from heaven. It was a verdict passed against him from the throne of God. What was the verdict? He said, Nebuchadnezzar, the throne is taken, is taken from you. The throne is taken from you. He said, the kingdom is departed from thee. And it came to pass in the physical, Nebuchadnezzar was given the heart of, of a beast. He dwelt in the bush. Dwelling with animals, the height of humiliation for a king. That verdict was passed from the realm of the spirit. And incidentally, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, Bashezer, he did not learn from the mistake of his father. He too exalted himself against God. He too was full of pride and arrogance. Then he refused to give glory to God for all the glory of his kingship. He attributed everything to his wisdom, to his knowledge, and his power. And again, a verdict was passed against him. The son of Nebuchadnezzar saw a strange handwriting. The Bible records in Daniel chapter 5, I read from verse 25. He saw a strange handwriting. The Bible says, and this is the writing that was written. Mene, mene, take care. Fashion. He said, this is the interpretation of the, thing, of the thing. Mene, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Take care, thou art weighed, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to medis and passion. Hmm. In other words, as in the physical, Bethesda was weighed in a, on a judicial balance. He was weighed and he was found wanting. 
it was weighed and it was found wanting. Brethren, in the realm of the physical, the execution, the symbol of justice, the symbol of judgment is often represented by, the, by an image of a lady holding a scale of balance. Holding a scale of balance. Brethren, in this letter, the Bible says, it said, Beshesa, you have been weighed in, on the balance and you have found one thing. And what was the verdict? Like his father, a verdict of demotion was passed against him from the realm of the spirit. Brethren, as in the realm of the physical, there is a spiritual scale of balance. There is a spiritual scale of balance. So, we must have this understanding that as in the physical, the spirit world also operates God's system. We have verdict apart for or against men. This verdict, this operation, this principle operates both in the kingdom of God and in the realm of darkness. While he was king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar passed a satanic verdict against King Zedekiah. I read from the book, from the book of Jeremiah. Zedekiah, this was at a time the king rebelled against God. That's Zedekiah. And the Bible says, in Jeremiah 39, 5, he tried to escape from the Chadian army, but the Bible says, but the Chadian's army pursued after them and overtake Zedekiah in the place of Jericho. And when they are taking him, they brought him up to the Bukhanezah king of Babylon, to Ribla, in the land of Ahmad, where he gave judgment upon him. They brought him to Nebuchadnezzar, and Nebuchadnezzar gave judgment upon him. Brethren, in the realm of God's kingdom, in the realm of darkness, judgments are given concerning men. And this judgment or verdict can be positive or negative. Solomon received a positive verdict. Wisdom and wealth added to him. Nebuchadnezzar and the son by Shezar, they received if a negative verdict from the throne of God. Why? They were carried away by pride and arrogance. Then again, while Nebuchadnezzar was yet king, he passed an evil verdict concerning Zedekiah. What was the verdict? He gave a verdict that brings Zedekiah under chains. They brought him under chains, they bound him with chains, removed his two eyes, and slew his children right before him. Brethren, that is a manifestation of satanic verdicts. So the first thing I want us to understand as we go into reversing satanic verdict is that the spirit world operates court system. But as a believer in Christ, I have good news for you. In the book of Zephaniah, in the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible says, The Lord has taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. I repeat, Zephaniah 3, 15, the Bible says, The Lord has taken away thy judgments. The Lord has taken away thy judgments. As a covenant child of the living God, listen, no weapon of satanic judgment fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I said, the Lord has taken away that judgment. I declare that decree. Arising from this ministration, every judgment of premature death, sudden and untimely death, is taken away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arising from this ministration, every judgment of shame, every judgment of poverty, every judgment of non-achievement, every judgment of fruitless labor, every judgment of stagnation or limitation, every form of satanic judgment they are taking away from you. In the name of Jesus, that judgment is nullified by the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, on the cross of Calvary, our Lord Jesus Christ carried our judgment. He carried that. He took our judgment, every form of judgment, the Lord Jesus bore them on our behalf. That is why the Bible is saying in Zechariah 3 15, said, The Lord has taken away that judgment. Brethren, good news, the Lord has taken away your judgment.
Every judgment passed against you from the realm of darkness, be it witchcraft, covenant, or marriage kingdom, or assault wickedness. Hear the word of the Lord, the Lord has taken away that judgment. That satanic judgment shall not stand. That satanic judgment shall not take root. That satanic judgment shall not bear fruit in your life. They are taken away, they are nullified out of your life and destiny by the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. Only that which is of God will take root. Only that which is of God will bear fruit in your life and destiny. I see this decree with the blood of the Lamb. It is settled in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. By the grace of God, the two other facts we must know in reversing satanic judgment, we shall examine them in the next edition of Strategic Prayer Network. It is well with you. The Lord perfect the good work He has started in your life and destiny in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. For prayer, counseling, or any form of ministration, you can contact me, Pastor Egodaro Izevige, Convener Mesh Prayer Network. You can reach me on 0802-773-3425. I repeat, 0802-773-3425. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.